What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is kind of like an apartment update. I did an apartment tour about a month ago, but I wasn't able to show you all of our decoration and our prints and all the little details because we just moved in and we just weren't quite as settled. So I kind of wanted to do this video to kind of update you and this way I could link a bunch of the decor that I'm always getting questions on where it's from and I figured it would just be easy in one place on a video. I also in this video want to review my white couch from Home Threads. I was blown away with how many DMs I got. I don't even think from people who followed me. I tagged them in a photo and I'm like I got so many DMs I guess from people who are interested in buying it. Um, and they all had around the same type of questions so I figured I would go over all of those answers in today's videos and I also want to go over the prints that I got these are all from the brand Decenio it's a super popular place to get prints so I kind of want to do a quick little review on those so let's just jump right into it and start off with these prints I got three for this living room I just felt like this space could do three but we loved these three because they're they don't come as a set but to me they were all very similar and they kind of all said the same thing so it almost looks like they're meant to be together and they match my whole living room vibe and colors perfectly so we were so happy we found these what i loved the most about the brand is that the shipping was super quick they use dhl i love brands that use dhl because i feel like it comes safer and quicker also the hanging process of these i mean i didn't hang them my boyfriend did but he said it was favorite they made it super simple like the glass came covered this way there was no like scratches or cracks you just put the print in like tighten it up and then hang it up so like to me that made it super simple what I loved the most is that there's so many different prints to choose from no matter what your taste style is there's definitely something for you I already want different types of prints for our bedroom but we'll get there one day um, and then another thing I loved about them is how affordable they are so we had a print that we already had and we took it to just like a random framer in the city and he wanted 188 just to frame it and we already had the print we were just like what so here, each one came out to around $75 to $80 for the print and the frame. I was blown away. So I was so happy to find this site and I was so happy to get it and hang them and it just makes my living room complete. So I will have all of their information down below in the description box. They were nice enough to give me a 30% off discount code. There are some exclusions to that, so just double check before you buy anything. And it lasts from March 2nd through March 9th, so you have a week, and it's for 30% off. I think I already said that. But the code is Stephanie Lee. We tried to keep it super simple, and this way you guys can easily remember it. So if you guys buy anything, I'm really curious what you buy, because there were so many prints. I even had my mom looking on the site trying to help me. I was overwhelmed at first, but then like once I kind of figured out what I wanted and what type of vibe I was going for, then it was super simple to find what I want. Getting into the couch review, once again, I could not get over how many people were so curious about this couch. I didn't even know, like, I, I don't know if the brand is like in right now, or maybe just people just want like a white knockoff restoration hardware couch. But I'm gonna answer all of the questions you guys had on this couch okay so the number one question that you guys asked was how soon did it get delivered so we ordered it january 15th and it actually got delivered on february 1st which is super quick i'm pretty sure at checkout it said anywhere from four to eight weeks so we were not expecting it at all um and then it came within two or like right around two weeks so shipping to new york city at least was pretty quick i mean i was blown away also i think this company is based in boca raton florida which is where i'm from because their phone number is 561 area code that's also my area code if you guys care but anyway moving on to the other most asked question is is it comfortable and do the pillows like the fluffiness last so comfort as of right now a month in 10 out of 10 like this couch is a cloud we love it we used to always watch tv after dinner in our bedroom but now we are like ride or die like we don't want to leave this couch it is so so comfortable we got the three-piece sectional and the ottoman and at first we thought the ottoman was going to be too large and we were going to return it I am so happy we did it because it is so comfortable. Like that's where we both lay. Me and him both share that one section with the ottoman. It's that big that you can. And the ottoman is nice because it you can take it off. So if we want to move it, if we have guests, we can put it in the corner. We could also put it on this side of the couch as well. So I liked that. It wasn't like a permanent L shape. Um, like those couches are just hard to work with and they're very particular on your room size and all that This is nice because you can move it to either side as for the fluffiness of the couch I've seen girls who just get a couch in from another re another retailer and it looks just like these But their pillows are like so thin it almost looks like paper and i'm like, oh, I, I don't like that These I feel like 
are so thick and fluffy that I'm hoping they stay that way. Even if they do defluff a little bit, eventually we'll probably get them refilled or refluffed. I'm pretty sure you could do that. But I'm pretty on top of like rotating my cushions and switching the cushions. This way we're not always sitting on the same one. And for the ottoman, I'm just constantly rotating it because that cushion is bigger than these size cushions if you guys were wondering. We thought it would be the same size. It's not, it's, it's pretty big, the ottoman. Moving on to the color. So we got white, which I was definitely nervous to, um, just because, you know, we both like to have friends over. We both like, you know, we just, we didn't want to be so worried about like sitting on the couch. I was most worried for like him and his guy friends who wear like dark denim. I was worried that that would like transfer onto the couch. But after having it for a month, it's a lot more durable than I thought it would be. I have had some stains on it, but I got those out and I'll show you the products that I used um, and all the products that I recommend for maintaining this couch. But just know if you do get a white couch, stains are gonna happen. It's not the end of the world. Just get a really good stain re remover, which I'll show you guys which one I have. Okay, moving on to products that I use to maintain this couch. So I put up a little question box on Instagram on what I should use if I get a white couch. And you guys gave me so many great recommendations. The first recommendation and the most recommendation you gave was Scotchgard. So I got the one that's for water and sun because this whole window is like straight up sun. I have the blinds closed right now and we still have this much light. So when those blinds are open, the sun is beating down on this couch for a lot of hours of the day and I didn't want it to, you know, like brighten certain parts or fade certain parts. So I got the one that was for water and sun. But basically I sprayed it on the entire couch. It didn't leave any weird residue and it's supposed to help that if you do spill liquid, it'll kind of be water repellent. So I haven't really tried that out yet because we haven't spilled liquid, thank God, knock on wood. But so far, so good. It didn't like stain the couch or leave any residue behind. The next recommendation that you guys gave me was Folex Spray. And I am so happy you gave me this recommendation because there was like a tiny bit of makeup on the couch. I don't know how that got there. I like never put my face on the couch. But there was a drop of makeup on the couch and this got it right off. I just got a wet washcloth and dabbed it and sprayed this and dabbed it and it came right off. So this is the instant carpet spot remover, but you could use it on your couch. I even use it on a pair of shoes. So it removes pet accidents, grease, ink, red wine, coffee, blood, rust, food, cosmetics, dirt, grime, most old stains, excellent for upholstery. So definitely recommend this. I got all this stuff off of Amazon, by the way, but this is just really good to have on hand and I feel like a little bit better knowing that I have it in case someone spills. Since this couch is white, I'm not gonna lie, you definitely see lint and fuzz on it. So I usually go in probably once a week with our vacuum. I just like put in like the little hose nozzle and go over it once. Um, and then whatever that doesn't pick up, I'll actually go in with the dust dust roller, <gasps> lint roller, Oof, wow. Um, I actually just did it and I don't know if the camera's picking it up on, but it, there's a lot of hair and lint on it. It's kind of, it's kind of gross, but definitely recommend doing that. And then for when it has those little like nicks in the fabric or little pills, I think just from sitting on it, fabric rubbing fabric, it's going to happen. I use this, uh, Conair fabric shaver removes, re removes, removes fuzz, lint, and pilling. So it's electric. Highly recommend it because it's a lot quicker than do it ma doing it manually. And I did the whole couch and the amount of lint that came out of this thing, I was shocked. And I've only had this couch for a month, so I don't even know. Definitely recommend this, I'll link it down below. So now I'm just gonna kinda walk around and show you some other little updates. This way I could link some of our decor and you guys can kinda see what it looks like now that our apartment is more finished. I'm pretty sure the last time I did my apartment tour, our TV was not yet mounted. So we mounted the TV, we put our record player there, and then we just got some cute little knickknacks. Most of these are from Home Goods. Oh, this my friend is taking. It's just another print that I had, but I don't need it. Um, if you're wondering what that is, but I got this cute little tassel ball thing from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. This is from Home Goods. I always get questions on it, so I don't think I could link it. But it's just where we put our remotes, um, some pompous grass some cute little candles okay and then lastly i just wanted to show you some updates on our entry table so i actually made this vase it was just plain glass i painted it white with baking soda it came out really cool these are just from our local florist they're like dried out flowers and then we got a black and white print so just some little decor updates i wanted to share with you guys that's it for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed please make sure to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and i will see you in my next video